Getting up at 6 in the morning, guard mountings, checkings and even being on duty. This will be Navalny's life in the next two and a half years in the Vladimir region. At the first stage in the quarantine department, I am interested in such parameters as marital situation, the nature of communication with relatives, and attitude to religion, pre-conviction, housing, profession and speciality. This is IK2 in Pokrov, where Navalny will serve his sentence after being in the Matroska Tishina pre-trial detention center and then in Kolchugino in the Vladimir region. This is a red zone, as it is called in prison slang, which means the order is maintained by the administration and loyal prisoners, whose comments will have to be carried out also by Navalny. The Vladimir prisons were originally created, of course, not for political ones, much less for Navalny. It was made to break criminal authorities, criminals with experience. And that is what it is specialized in. The nationalist convinced of extremism, Dmitry Dyomushkin, spent almost two and a half years in the Pokrovska IK2, the same as Navalny. Dyomushkin was in the sector of enhanced control A and believes that the same awaits Navalny. There's a reason why Navalny was registered as prone to escape. That allows, even inside the strict limited colony, to keep him in the sector of enhanced control A, the closed zone where it is impossible to breathe without permission. This is done with the aim of keeping him apart from this world as much as possible. According to another prisoner of the IK2, Konstantin Kotov, the term will consist of unconditional subordination to the routine of the colony and endless fulfillment of the instruction of the other prisoners, the so-called on-duty ones. The slightest violation is a reprimand, which destroys any hope of parole. This happened to court of himself when another convict gave him his gloves. About a week later, I'm called to the commission and reprimanded. I violated the rules of the internal regulations by accepting the things of another prisoner as a gift. In 2019, activist Kortov was given four years in prison for repeatedly violating the terms of the law on holding rallies. A year later, the court commuted the sentence to one and a half years. All this time he spent in IK2 in Pokrov. Every time I see my lawyer, I go to the operations department. There, in the presence of one of the operations department employees, my full personal search starts. I get completely undressed, remove all my clothes and squat with my back to them something like five or ten times. They're checking if something gets from the anal orifice, as I understand. It's so crazy. There is an Orthodox church on the territory of the colony, which, according to Navalny's recent statements in court, is important for him, and a separate long-term visiting rooms complex. However, according to Kortov, it is very difficult to get permission for long visits. There is no possibility of personal contact. We cannot hand over any documents. We are completely walled off with some kind of glass unit and maybe they are even listening to us. According to lawyer Maria Aismond, beatings of prisoners used to be practiced in the colony, but this stopped after the change of prison authorities. Similar information is published on the website of the Human Rights Project Gulagu.net. Nobody will beat Navalny. I am absolutely 100% convinced of this, because no one has touched me all the time in Pokrov. Of course, we are not ordinary prisoners. Konstantin Kortov, who was there after me, was not beaten either. Former prisoners believe that Navalny will be not engaged in the activities that are stated as special schedule ones. These are admitting public events, visiting a church, a gym and hobby clubs. It is not known whether Navalny will appear on the Vladimir Region UFSAN YouTube channel. For example, the IK2 prisoners prepared a social video. We have no doubt because we are the same people as you. Insider published material under the heading Navalny was sent to a colony in which they sew underpants for the FSIN. The publication references the supply contract as evidence. <laughs>
Earlier, lawyers who were sent to IK2 were in the dark about Navalny's whereabouts. Nobody knew where was Navalny, even the Kremlin. We do not have any information about the whereabouts of the convict. In the Russian Federation there is a FSIN. It is the service that has this information. The presidential administration is not the authority that can and should have such information. The Anti-Corruption Foundation, which was recognized as foreign agent by the Ministry of Justice, published a letter from 325th Garrison Court, from which it follows that Navalny is in IK2 in Pokrov. Later, in the Instagram of the oppositioner, a photo of Shave Navalny and a post including information about his whereabouts appeared. The theory of the former prisoner Dyomushkin was confirmed. Alexei Navalny is in the sector of enhanced control A. In February, Navalny was tried twice. The first trial related to the replacement of the suspended sentence in the E4Shea case with a real one. The second to the case of the libel against a veteran of the Great Patriotic War. In both cases, Navalny received a decision not in his favor. The United States and the European Union called on the Russian authorities to release the opposition air and imposed personal sanctions on some high officials. Until recently, Navalny was in the Kolchugina pretrial detention center in Vladimir region. However, Lois reported his transfer to the colony.